The ocean floor just off the eastern United States is deeply carved with hidden canyons, teeming with exotic and breathtaking species of plants and animals. There's 15 major incised canyons along the east coast of the United States. At times of lower sea level, rivers ran out across the continental shelf and carved out the top parts of the canyons. Some are almost as long as the Grand Canyon and nearly as deep. Just east of those canyons, four extinct volcanoes called seamounts rise from the ocean floor. They're part of a chain that extends down to Bermuda. Together, the canyons and seamounts are home to an extraordinary universe of life. There's a forest of whip corals and very large single polyp deep sea corals. And the fact that they're small belies their advanced ages hundreds of years old. Deep sea corals are extraordinary organisms. They're not only beautiful and ecologically important, but they're really fragile and need explicit protection. The corals and sponges themselves provide shelter for many other animals that live on them, eat them, use them for cover, and then they provide food for larger beasts like fishes. Huge schools of squid and mackerel forage in these waters. Tilefish, lobsters, and red crab, tuna, marlin, swordfish, dolphins, and even the occasional sea turtle are attracted to the feast. Whales traverse the canyons, including endangered sperm whales, which can consume up to a ton of deep water squid and fish every day. These Atlantic waters are also an important food source for humans. Their bounty has attracted generations of commercial and sport fishermen. The desire to fish deeper and deeper uh, continues to outrace our ability to understand how these places work. Some threats, like bottom trawling, can physically remove those reefs that took hundreds of years to build in a matter of minutes. The effect of bottom trawling is not unlike bulldozing or clear-cutting a forest. Anything that's in its path will turn to rubble. Until recently, these deep places were simply out of reach of people. Uh, we have increased our ability to get out and get down as technology has developed. There is no wisdom tradition in the history of the world that says that the world is ours to destroy. It's always ours to pass on. Choosing some places that we don't want to impact is going to be key to conserving these communities into the future. For now, this region remains largely untouched. It's been protected for centuries, essentially by our ignorance. Now that we know and can reach the riches it contains, we can plunder them or protect them. <laughs>